Give me one dance. Lay down your arms. Give up the fight. You and I are. Do you know what's worth fighting for? Well, it's not worth. Hey, Darko, how are we doing? Congratulations, first one to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are doing the same painting as this morning. <laughs> hey, Jason, hey, Des. Sea Salt, that's a name I haven't seen before, but good to have you here. Excuse my ragtag clothing, guys. It's late night. Matteo, welcome, and thank you for a lovely rose. So sweet. It's not even Valentine's Day yet. Hello from Dallas. Welcome. Just excuse me for a second, guys. I'm grabbing my paint colors. One at a time. We're on three paint colors. We're going for our more softer, our pale colors, our lighter colors. But I'm going to splash in a little bit of the sweet, sweet Colbert Blue, my favorite. Hello, Barcelona in Scotland. Luke and MJ. You are more than welcome to be here, along with Bernie from Texas. You bunch of wildcats. All right, there we go. That's our paint palette sorted, guys. We're keeping the colors. No, no, no. We're keeping the colors basic to start with, and then we'll move into more complex ones as we go. I've got two plates, so it's perfectly okay to um, start basic, make a mess, and then clean up later. <laughs> Thanks, mate. All right. Mm. The are gonna paint late night. Oh shit! Sorry, guys. The are gonna paint late night. Use a lot of water. On yourself. Stay hydrated. Don't just drink coffee late into the night. Hey, Travis. All right. Let's have a look see here. Now, what we're going to do? Starting up high. That's where we're gonna start. A little bit of white. A little bit of gloss medium. That's water. Oh, yes. It is. This is water in the painting. And the sky is going to be blue. The color of water. Fantastic. Everything's looking up. Let's lash this into here. Oh, well done with the color match team. We're basically spot on the color that we want to have. That's fantastic. There we go. Just like that. Now we're talking. So we add a bit of that in there. Excuse the humming in the background too, guys. It, oh, pardon me. It's the, um, it's the DD. Air pump. Cold air in the room, keeping me zinged up. Isn't it not to wear a shirt? Well, I mean, I enjoy wearing fancy clothes, guys, when I paint. And the reason I enjoy it is I believe that when you dress smart, you paint smart. I think that that's clever. Could be wrong, but you know what? It works for me. And if it works for you, you should do it. Because that is a wholesome reason to do something. Thanks you very much, Casper. Uh, Interesting way to spell it, though. You almost caught me off guard there. I like your style. I like your style. Right, a bit more white, a bit of tan. Gonna splice. There we go. Perfectos. Bit of tan. Bit of transparency. Do you know what's worth fighting for? Well, it's not worth dying for. Does it take your breath away? Stop it. <laughs> You're welcome, Casper. You got a great name. Casper 
Live Friendly Ghost. Now, on to the face. Do you know what's worth fighting for? When it's not worth dying for? Does it take your breath away? And you feel yourself suffocating? Got that song stuck in my head, guys. I was playing it just before I started the stream. And now 21 guns by, is it Green Day? It's in my head, on repeat. So here we are. <laughs> Cheers, guys. So we're working on this painting. Now I have to get this painting completed soon, very soon. And then I've got two other canvases that I cannot wait to start. You've heard me talking about them non-stop. I've got these canvases, I've got these canvases. Well, I am gonna start them. It won't be tonight. Tonight. Or well, it might be. You know what? There's a wild world out here. Maybe we'll do it. Luke, thank you very much. Appreciate each and every one of those roses. I think roses are a fun gesture. I think that's a fun thing for TikTok to have done. Here we go. Some splashes in here on these crazy angles. Fantastic. I'm coming up here, we're going to add a few into here. This is good, this is very good. And then a couple down through here. Just gonna acknowledge some of the chest. There we go. And the bra's really fun. The bra's a crimson bra. All the right colors, all the right levels of fun. Hello, everyone. Do you know what's worth crying for? When it's not worth does it take your breath away and you feel yourself suffocating there we go and a little bit more up here perfect just building it out piece by piece there we go a little bit more in here Fantastic. Go all the way around. Homework, guys. Get the whole thing finished. And a little bit more around here. There we go. Now, uh, guys, you've heard me say it a million times. I'll say it again. If you're new here, if you're new here, first off, lovely to have you. Absolute pleasure. I'm Seb, I'm a painter. If you'd like to see some more, you're welcome to join in on Instagram. You're welcome to join in on... Um, what else is there? YouTube. It's all in the bio. Buy one fancy little link. So that's fun. But nobody cares. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I hope that I can keep painting and convince you that painting's fun. Maybe not care, but painting's fun. Thanks, Mike. You're an absolute champion. Appreciate what you do. Appreciate the confetti. adding in some of these colors. This is going to change the whole, uh, just the uh, tone rather changing here. Some of the colors are a bit too intense. And so we're using these to tone them back with a lot of gloss gel through it. That's what we're up to here. Sorry, do you do exhibitions of your works? If so, where? Okay, so I do exhibit the work. There is currently very, very few pieces available. I'm so tied up with commissions at the moment, um, which is a good thing because I love bringing people's ideas to life. But I do have a private collection. I've got to send it off to a few people actually. They've requested it recently and I haven't had a chance. But basically, I've got a private collection of artwork. It's not listed online at the moment. There's only about four or five pieces. If you do want a piece right away and you want something more personal that I've made as a passion project then I can send you some pictures of it but um, hopefully towards the mid-year I'll get some time to build up a collection and then I'll have enough to 
listed again for you guys, but right now there's just not enough work available to bother listing online. But I love keeping my projects a passion in the studio, so it sort of motivates me and creates an environment for me personally while I'm in the while I'm in my studio. But you know what? If you want one of those passion projects because you want art right now, then message me. I'll send you some pictures. One might resonate with you, or maybe not. We will see. Wow. Um, but regardless, guys, you can jump on TikTok here, or there is the ability to follow on Instagram or wherever else in their bio. It's all there for you. And we're just gonna put these little dots, these little white dots. This is the bit of sea spray that's hanging around here. We're gonna realize that. There we go. Hello. Just around here like this. There's a few down here. Do, do, do. Perfecto. Do there. And then we got one over here. Perfect. So any more there? Yep, there we go. And a few more here. Cool. We want to underdo rather than overdo any little uh, spray dots. We can always add more dots, but it's harder to take the dots away. You don't know how long you've been watching for, Amy. Well, you know what? I'm going to be here for a few hours, so you've got all the time in the world. And we are going to keep working on this painting. I love this painting. I think it's special. It's got more layers to go. I like where it's at. It's a fun place. Everybody loves art. You know what? I think once you get inspired by art, or you see art that you actually do love, I don't think everyone loves all kinds of art. I think you're entitled to like certain types of art. And when you find kind of a bit of art, the type of art that resonates with you, then yeah, people do love art. Great question. This is Impressionism. So, Impressionism is not realism. It's like you're in a lecture class. <laughs> Impressionism is not realism. Realism is where you try and paint as accurate as possible and create the image as per a photograph or as per an environment. We're not doing that. What we're doing here is we're trying to create an impression of the picture. So instead of trying to recreate the picture such that they would stand as equals in the same um, field of representing a subject, instead we're trying to capture something that maybe the photo missed and accentuate certain things that uh, for a human mind looking at the photo might stand out more. Think Van Gogh when he painted Starry Starry Night and things where he accentuated the sky, he accentuated the uh, blue and he accentuated the stars. In the same way we're accentuating things like uh, the perspective, the colour and the vibrancy of this image. So it would be a failure for this type of style of painting. Yeah of course you can, it's completely relevant. Here we go, coming in, coming in, pow. So that's our original image. If you look at that there, she's holding a GoPro, she's on a wakeboard, and there's a lot of perspective here. There's the board, the way it's traveling, there's the line, it's a wakeboard getting pulled by a horse, there's the horizon line as well. So there's lots of compositional elements all leading to a point over here. So the horse is tiny, about 3% of the image, but this whole picture here culminates to that point which creates this really fun perspective. There's a lot of color in it, a lot of vibrancy, even though it's a lake, a lot of green. Um, green will actually be the predominant color of this painting. There's crimson touch points. I love a crimson touch point. So that's in the bra, that's a few moments in the here, that's the handle, a little bit down here by the feet, maybe a few touches in here, and uh, a little bit on the back of the horse rider. So, a couple of fun places. Um, that is, that is what we've got. So, we're gonna keep fleshing out this picture here and see where we can take it. Now, I think our head's gone too high there. That's all right, because we can e -he easily drag it down. Drag it down, baby, drag it down, baby. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. And now I think I might grab, 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 grab ooh, will I? No, we'll hold fire, we'll hold fire. 
I need just a little bit more of this in here. This color is going to make the other colors chill. This is grey. And sometimes if your work is getting too much energy in it, too many colors that all the colors seem to hang on back. Um, yes, yeah, so it's the artwork's perspective. So yeah, I'm still wanting to make sure the selfie stick's quite clear though, guys. I want that to be part of the fun elements within the actual picture. Um, and so, we're definitely going to accentuate the selfie stick and let that be a point of, not realism, but a little bit of additional clarity. Right, here we go. But the most important thing, guys, is when we use these colors, the subject, we're wanting to catch as much vibrancy in life that the characters have and that the image has. And we're gonna do that with our use of the paintbrush and our use of the color. With the color, it's obvious. We're gonna grab bright colors. And with our paintbrush, the way we add the strokes of the paint, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add them quite freely, quite primarily, quite raw. The strokes are gonna be fun and fluid. And the reason we do that is because that's gonna add life into the painting. It's gonna add life because the paint strokes aren't trying to sort of manipulate themselves to be um, gradients or the image. They're just trying to do their own thing and enjoy themselves. And so the picture itself, although it looks less realistic, will have this element of, it'll breathe life into it. It'll, yeah, for lack of a better way of describing it. Um, why does she have angry eyebrows? She won't have angry eyebrows as it gets towards the conclusion of the painting. But we can't just fix up the eyebrows. This part here is 2% of the whole picture. Every time we work here, we have to work everywhere else. So we touch there, then we scoop around, and then we touch there. Otherwise the face is going to look weird, like ultra definition around one point with abstraction everywhere else. I don't like that. Spread it out. Control it. Control it. Here we go. Here we are. Fantastic. We're just going to keep this splash coming in here. And we can't neglect this little corner up here. There we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. There we go. Perfect. We've got to come around the canvas. We've got to do our homework. Here we go. Beautiful. And now we're on to the ultra saturated Behavior Blues. There we go. Beautiful. We call that beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Shirley. Appreciate you. Appreciate you to no end. We're on the baby blues. I'm adding a little bit of gloss gel into them. Why? I like the painting to dry with a wet sheen to it. I want it to look like it was just applied. As if that expressive rough style it was applied with never really started to dry into a mat. It just stayed looking lush and fresh. Like it, yeah. Like I'd literally just walked away from the canvas. That's what we want. That's what we want. Just like that. Oh my god, that face is coming. This it may not look quite right, but it may not look right right now. But what we just did there with that blue was phenomenal work. That face is coming together exactly how we want it to. I, oh, I tell you what, that was a good couple of strokes. That was exactly what we wanted. To, <laughs> It'll, it'll make sense later, but man, you can take my word for it, that blue landed exactly where we wanted it to. Um, guys, we're working on this painting. This is a wakeboarder getting pulled by a horse on a lake. A lot of fun stuff going on. If you want to see other paintings, I've got portraits, dog portraits, um, human portraits, genres, landscapes, all the fun stuff. Jump on my bio. There's a link to Instagram. There's a link all over the show, but jump on there, 
have a look around. And, 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 and. yeah, you can go from there. Here we go. Still on the baby blue bars, guys. There we go. And now we're loosening up. That's exactly how we want to do those brush strokes. Those strokes there, really fun, really loose, doing their own thing. Um, yeah, undeniably fun brush strokes. That's what we're after. A piece this size on average is how much? Okay, so this piece here, it will vary. Um, but it all depends on things like shipping. It depends on things like, uh, yeah, depends where you're shipping it to. Um, depends how many layers we're doing, how much abstraction we're adding. This one here is going to be about four or five layers. Um, but if you are interested in the commission, the best thing to do is reach out to me via the link in the bio. There's actually a commission page there. Tell me what your idea is. You can attach an image there as well. Tell me where we're sending it to and me and you can work out what that looks like. Because um, there's so many variables, guys. You know? For T, we were able to do an awesome, uh, for the most recent commission of the dog, we were able to do a most, the most awesome thing. I was able to drop it off in person, which removed all the shipping costs, because I was coming through town anyway. That's not always the case. But this is, this is fun stuff that we can do. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Cheers, guys. All right. Let's have a look see here. Okay, now, making good ground in the sky. We want to make sure, because the sky is just a blue color team. So with a blue color sky, we've got to keep dog portrait fully interest me, Sid. Absolutely. And in fact, I'm talking to someone with two beautiful little dogs right now. They've been waiting on a reply from me, Bola, for five days, which is outrageous. If that's you, I'm so sorry. I've, uh, but I'm going to get back to you, and it's not. Feel free to reach out. There is no space in February. No, none. So if you want a dog portrait, or if you want a portrait, or if you want a commission of some sort, we can start talking about it now, but we can only start it early March. It'll ship mid-March, but start early March. Kind of light you use for painting at night. Um, honestly, unless you're doing realism, you can use whatever light you feel comfortable in. At the moment, I've got for that fluorescent lights on the ceiling. So these fluorescent lights are just going to give a bit of colour to the room, but they are, uh, I mean, are they the best for realism, honestly? For impressionism, it's perfect. I can see the colours, I can have fun, I can see my brush strokes, I can see everything I need to see. Um, will it change under different lighting conditions? Definitely, definitely. But you know what? A lot of things change under different lighting conditions. Hello, my bro, dropping in the vibes. Welcome, Hetty. Hetty, I posted your uh, food video the other day on Instagram and um, had a bunch of people hitting me up saying I didn't know New Zealand food was so good. And I said, it's not normally as amazing as Hetty's, well, it is amazing food, but it's more to do with the chef. <laughs> The boy knows how to cook. What town or city are you from, Caleb? I am from Oolonga, New Zealand. But I'm currently, this studio here, this is in Auckland. So I'm painting out of Auckland at the moment. Auckland's New Zealand's biggest city centre. Do you add gloss or retarder to your paint? Yes, we're currently adding a gloss to it. That keeps it looking wet, shiny, and I chop and change. You don't have to add only gloss to the paint the whole time. What you can do is you can add gloss to some of the layers, areas that you want to have stand out, and then you can come back and not have gloss in the paint. So that way on different angles, different parts of the painting are going to shine. With a sheen in some areas, what well, whistled there, and nothing in others. It's like a funky way to do what the ancient masters were doing with impasto. Where they'd put thick paint on in places to make certain areas stand out. But actually, we can do a better thing by, uh, by, 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 
um, using glosses. Kale. All right. How often do I go to the gym? What a question. Um, so, I try and I try and do a little bit of exercise each day, guys. Whether it's a walk, whether it's just doing some stretches. I love those routines on YouTube. The little um, little yoga things for the morning to wake up. Little whatever's. Um, I just try and do a little bit each day just to get the blood flowing. Because if I just paint all the time, I get a little bit lethargic and it helps with my mental energy to make sure that I'm doing a little bit of exercise. And I really encourage it for you guys too. Just a little walk will do it. A little bit of yoga. Doesn't have to be a gym session. Doesn't have to be a membership. Those are expensive sometimes. And lots of water. Water's good for you. Stay hydrated. Hmm. And that's my advice around that. Sounds like I'm wearing clogs. Um, I'm wearing jandals. Because it's hot in the studio. And even though, even though the heat pump is blaring cold air into the room, it's just not going fast enough. So, your boys and jandals. Even though... There we go. And I... I'll drink all the time. We should be lovers. We can't do that. We should be lovers. And that's a fact. Though nothing will keep us together. We could still turn just for one day. Mario Rui. That's exciting. Alright, there's a little bit of a cut line down here. We don't recognize that. Just through here. Yum, 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 yum. Perfect. Perfect all. From Canada, welcome. And love the movie. Love that movie. Ooh. I love that one song, Elephant Love Melody. Huge fan. The one that, uh, yeah. But the original one. Um, it's not on Spotify, it's on YouTube though. Like love is a many splendid thing love lift us up where we belong all you need is love oh don't start that again what a banger what a banger how can you talk and paint at the same time um well i'm very lucky guys i'm lucky and if you're enjoying yourself you're lucky too and the reason why is because I typically paint with a lot of music, but I've also got the ability to enter a flow state, which is when you see, when you're able to paint and lose track of time and keep adding layers and paint and, and developing your craft, while also being able to talk to you guys and share it with you. Um, that's not something, some people need their own space. They need their music, they need their environment. But for me, I have the ability to be here doing this and also sharing it with you and that's something really special because I think a lot of the time we don't get to see behind the curtains to how art's actually made step by step, at least sometimes not with abstract art where the artwork goes from being this wild mess of colour and crazy primal activity into something that you can say, oh that's nice. Um, so. It's fun to come here with you guys and share what this is. This is, this is, this is even probably more primalism than it is uh, impressionism. We're really trying to return to quite an old school way of doing things. We've got this uh, canvas here. We're working with canvas. We've got brushes and we've got paint. This in itself is already old school. And we're doing it in a way where we're being wild and gestural with the brush strokes and colourful with the paint we use in a way that does make it feel like a primal, raw activity. So, that's very fun. Hello Jason, I'm very good. And Mike, thanks, it's helpful to see you paint. Mike, it's good to have you here. It's 
absolutely fantastic to have you here. It's actually a real privilege to be able to share this with you guys. If I was a painter from, say, 200 years ago, then I'd do it by myself. Like, Van Gogh or someone like that who was just hanging out by himself painting. But instead, instead, I get to be here with company late at night in a studio in New Zealand sharing this craft with you guys. I think that's really special. Um, <laughs> yeah, I used to do little painting groups and in fact, part of university, my favourite thing from art school was painting in groups. I love that. We'd have one painter doing this, sorry not one painter, one person doing this, one person doing that, all with our own unique styles, abilities, and yeah, it was just really wholesome. But anyway, speaking of wholesome, I love this picture. I can't wait, and hopefully we can make it into something magic. Heading outside, Hitty, look after yourself, outside, Woo -wee. what time is it? You late night menace. Go have some fun, Hitty. You champion. Do your thing. Um, guys, first off, thanks for joining me. Second off, if you want to see more, oh, Jason, you absolute champion. I really appreciate that. Um, I've dropped off the doll portrait. I'm in love with the doll portrait. Um, everyone who walked into the studio loved the doll portrait. It was actually sort of sad to see it go, but. Uh, it's in the most amazing home, it's loved by the most amazing lady, and I'm really happy where it's ended up. So, it's there now. And uh, look, we're just gonna have to make new work that's just as special as it, and it can fill the space. At the moment, I've got Aboriginal in that space. How long have you been working on this piece for? This is our third session on this piece. Correct me if I'm wrong, anyone. Third session, <laughs> you're welcome, T. Yes, a left-hander. Um, so, third session on this piece, and we are on about our third hour, fourth hour. I don't know, I'm losing track of time. Like I say, flow state. But um, the cool thing about this work is I want to bring it to conclusion in the next 24 hours. So we are going to attack it. We're going to keep going on it until it's done. That's the plan. I don't care how much red wine and pre-workout it takes, we're getting this work to completion. Now, sorry, what I was saying is um, other works and fun little stuff is all in the link in the bio. So you can leap on that and you can get commissions by there. There's an About Me page. Um, again, the About Me page is very raw. I try and make sure it's as honest as possible, to give you guys a bit of a view into what it's like to be an artist or help if you're an artist and you're, you know, I don't know, maybe it'll help you, who knows. Um, and there's an Instagram and things like that. Now, also an email, email's good too. How do you know what to paint? Caleb, part of the fun for me is because I've got the ability, I've got this craft and it's really fun when other people come to me with their dream and their ideas and we can marry their inspiration with my craft and bring it together. Because part of the fun of having a craft is not just bringing your own ideas to light, it's actually bringing to light the ideas of others. So a lot of the work we do is commissioned, so we, a lot of the work I do is commission based because I like to find inspiration that really speaks to me and to bring it to life. So that's one good way to find good stuff. How long have you been going on, blah, 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 blah sorry. Cheyenne, how long are you going to be painting tonight? Let me think it. Well, it depends, Sean. If I start to lose the plot, like the flow state starts to dwindle and I just start missing strokes and the whole thing starts going downhill, not much longer. But if I'm hitting my straps, then I need to grab myself a coffee and keep going because since we're doing this painting in 24 hours, we don't have the opportunity to squander good working time. We need to keep going and keep charging. You're an artist. Shana, that's fantastic. I'm proud of you. There we go. That just goes in there like that. And that just goes in there like that. Hello from California. You're welcome to be here. Um, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? 
Chiefs or Eagles? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I heard somewhere. Maybe it was in a dream. I don't know. I heard somewhere that when you get asked questions, you know you're in the right place, no matter how smart you are. You know you're in the right place when for every time you know something, you don't know two things. So if you can answer one third of the questions that people ask you and legitimately answer, I don't know, to the other two, you've got the right friends, you're in the right place and you're living the right way. Because sometimes you can just give answers when you actually don't know them so much. Does time pressure complicate paintings and frustrate you at all? I was being asked that tonight by a very special person. No, it doesn't. Sometimes there's time pressure, sometimes there's not. Think of it like Crash Bandicoot. You've got the main storyline, and then you've got your little challenges, and some of the challenges are time trials. Do we get annoyed at time trials in Crash Bandicoot? Well, honestly, <laughs> sometimes, but the fun, the part of the game. And uh, honestly, play to it. I was never great at time trials in Crash Bandicoot, but you know what? I'm pretty good at them in uh, real life. In fact, I would almost go as far as to say I thrive in a time trial in real life. <laughs> here we go. Okay, a little bit of blue through here, capturing these waves. Loose fun brush strokes, guys, that's the game. That is the game. We're not doing chicken scratches, we're keeping it loose and fun. Why? It puts energy into the painting. Not anything spiritual or like like that but energy in terms of subconsciously you'll look at the painting and you get a feeling that actually the artist had a lot of fun making it and that'll bring the subject to life and just give the subject an element of fun and vibrancy and honestly if I can do that with this work then that will be the most incredible achievement that I'll be able to hang my hat on that's where we're going that's what we're up to thanks Pamela you're amazing I really appreciate you no, I mean the red pants comment. I missed the red pants comment. Um, she's in black tights. Take that back. Navy blue tights. I don't know. And I am in... Uh, I don't know. Army green pants? Is that army green? I don't know. I don't know. Okie dokie. Alright guys, I got some terrible news. Some terrible news. It's not the worst news I can give you, but... It is news. Who's ready to hear it? Good. Oh, thank you very much, guys. I've got some terrible, terrible news, though. Give me a moment. Now, I need to go to the bathroom. I've drunk too much water. So, give me, like, 40 seconds. While I'm gone, you're welcome to jump into my bio. There's a link there which has all the other links inside it. It's a very funky one. And I will be back in just a moment. You're all fantastic. Give me a second. Bye. Light it up, 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 light it up, up, up. I'm back. Sorry. And also, very lucky I went to the bathroom because my key was in there. So if I didn't uh, get this back, I would have had a hard time getting home. So, this is good. Roman, hello. 
Um, we've added some detail into the space here. We're going to add a little bit more, but are we going to put some uh, We can do it all with these colors we've got. We can do it all with the colors we've got. I keep trying to pinch and zoom to see the painting closer. Um, ah, that's niggly. I'll tell you what though, I can post some screenshots of the painting and we can go from there. And I've also got a uh, funky little time lapse going. So that's fun. Now, grey. Look out. I keep trying, uh, no, that's the same one. Okay, I'm trying to read the comments, but you know what? I get caught behind a little bit, so. That happens. There we go. A little bit like that. Perfecto. A little bit in there. Fantastic. And then we're going to add this in here. Now we're talking. Are we going to lose some of this eyebrow? Probably. Probably. Slowly but surely, she'll turn into someone. But the expression that we're after. Hello, Paul. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're looking after yourself. Enjoying your day. All the good things. Um, where is the commission going to? Jason, this one's staying here in Auckland. It's a special one. It's a project of, it's a mixture of going to Auckland and a project of passion. Um, it's one of the four that we're working on. It's an exciting one in that we get to add this into the lineup. It's on a lake, and then we have Steve's one, which is in the sea. And I find that ever so fun. Do you only paint in the studio in Auckland? Cheyenne, no, who? Not just the studio in Auckland. I paint all over the show. But I like going to the studio at night because outside it's a little more dreary. Um, I would do, I would do, 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 do. Normally in the back, blah, 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 normally do outside sets. So if it is uh, a lovely day, I love to get you guys outside. I love you to hear the sounds of New Zealand, what we have to offer here, and show you around this amazing place that I call home. I love to do that, but uh, late at night, or if the weather's picking up like it has been lately, I bring you in here and we can just have a long, chill session together. How wholesome is that? Um, what about painting? Uh, cheers, Wolf. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a possibility. The sun was really hot, but right now, we're in a lovely, chilled studio. So I need this. Keeps me, keeps me warm. I think I've missed a few lives over the past few days. We'll be being on YouTube as well. Of course they will be, Jason. You'll have to forgive me. I've fallen behind. I took this weekend off. I know, I disappeared. And the reason I disappeared was I was attending a 27th birthday. It was at a lake. We went on some hikes. I posted about it in my Instagram story. If you want to catch what I do on a regular daily basis, um, I've been meaning to post more stuff there, but that's usually on Instagram rather than TikTok. So if you'd like to catch that, you need to go into the bio through Instagram. So sometimes it's art related. It's mainly it's art related because I live and breathe art, but sometimes it's other random stuff. I don't know. Shelby Cooper. This is Okara where I grew up. It's technically the sea. Well, okay. I'll do some of those regular little sea waves and some shark fins. <laughs> um, but there we go, guys. Okura. Okura? Okura. That's where it is. I'm wrong. Thank you for the correction. Saludos. Saludos. How long have you been painting this piece? Ooh, hoo, hoo. I've been painting this piece for... How long? Four hours, maybe three hours going on four hours. Just a little bit of time, guys. Just a little bit of time. Building up layers. Building up layers. One little layer at a time. We're currently doing our greys, our whites, and our blues with gloss gel. Mixing it up. Jessica, you're amazing. 
thank you so much. Um, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's going to get a bit more definition as we go on, but yes, it was a wild expressionism. Now, if you see it from a distance, you'll see a picture in it, but if you come close, you're going to see wild, primal, just gestural, expressive brushstrokes. Now, that's what I want. I don't want to have a photo up close. I want you to really see that this painting's been made with paint. That's so, so important. And then when you move away, a picture might come into context, but up close, you really want to see, what's the term I'm looking for here? Primalism. Primalism is the best term, guys. Basically that, oh no. Uh, all right, instruction is not to lose Shelby's keys. If anyone's here later on, please remind me of that. Oh my God, where are Shelby's keys? What have I done with them? Are they gone? They're gone for good. I don't know if I'll ever make it home. They're lost, but I'll find them. You don't need them though, right, shall we? They're like a, an afterthought, right? <laughs> um, thanks, guys. Ooh, Jessica. Great question. I recently turned 30. I'm 30 years old. 30 and thriving. There's a different saying that I can't remember it. 30, 30, ah, 30, out of that, 30, flirty, and thriving. Is that it? Oh my God, someone teach me how to be cool. 30, flirty, and thriving. I can't even say it. It's too many words. It's too many, I'm tripping over myself. I'm 30, and I'm from New Zealand. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm struggling, but that's what I'm trying to say. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my god, yeah, 30s. 30s, uh, it snuck up on me, guys, as it does for everyone. But I'm glad to be here. I think I suit 30. I think I probably suit 30 more than I suited 20. I think I'll suit 40 more than 30. I'm not about 50, we'll see. We'll see. Here we go, we're just gonna pop some of these colors in here. Ooh, we're gonna pop that in there? Yeah, let's pop that in there. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? There we go. And that's going to come down there. Because that's... Oh, wait a minute. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Chunk, 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 chunk. That's in the right place there. Chunk. And then that comes down here. Chunk. Coming down to here. Chunk, chunk. Beautiful. Because that goes chunk there. Oh, hello. There we go. that jawline she's got a good hearty jawline it's a good one there we go it goes to there it goes to there it comes up there yep that'll slowly push itself into the right place <laughs> all right shall we you get some sleep but thank you very much for tuning in and it's okay I've obviously got the uh, live recording here, sorry, the time lapse recording here too. So if anyone misses this or needs to leave early, in the story for the next 24 hours, there'll be a live there and you can catch it all there. Uh, be a time lapse there. How easy or not easy is it to change a painting if you make a mistake? Jason, impossible. If you make a mistake, you leave it. Um, just like life, the best way to deal with a mistake you made the deal with the wrong decision is make 20, 20 right ones. So if we make wrong strokes in this painting, the best way to get rid of them is not by getting rid of them, but surrounding them with strokes that are in the right place. That's how we do it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Jessica. That's a really lovely gesture. Um, I'm so glad. And I really hope that you enjoy the art and get something out of it that helps you. Whether you're an artist yourself, whether you just appreciate art, or whether you have your own craft, and some of my weird late night ramblings help you with that. That's fantastic. Um, do you need, ha, <laughs> Felix. We painted a dog on the stream recently, actually. Mike, you're an absolute champion. 
I love you to bits. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. I love you to bits. And everyone, not just with gifts, but following and sharing the stuff, you're also all fantastic. I love you all to bits because I think we spread love in the stream and I think that's wholesome and I think that anyone who gets involved in sharing that deserves a high five. I can't give you one physically. I can give you like a digital one. And I can also say I love you because that's an amazing uh, escapade to go on, to try and spread some love around the place. Art is your entire life, whether it's painting on a canvas or my nails. I love that, Jessica. Live the dream. And don't be shy if you've got artwork that you'd like to share. You're more than welcome to share it with me. I'd love to see it. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit slow on replies. I think some people have found that. But I'm doing my best. Doing my best. Um, uh, Isaiah, will I marry you? I'm sorry, Isaiah. The answer is going to be no, but only no because... In your life, Isaiah, you're going to come across someone really special. And they are going to love you to bits. And you're going to love them right back. And it's going to be amazing. And it's going to come out of nowhere. And you're going to get knocked right off your heels from it. And you're going to live the dream. And I'm personally going to be so happy for you. I'm already happy for you because I know it's on the way. It just is. It's the way life works. It's going to be right around the corner that you don't expect it is. Um, does anyone else know how long he's been working on this? DK, we're on about our fourth hour. We're on our fourth hour. We're building up into it. I think I said four to five hours. I lied to you guys. It's going to be more like 10 to 12. But you know what? I always lie. It's probably not even going to be 10 to 12. It might even be seven. It might be 15. At the end of the day, guys, we just need to keep cutting up some layers, adding them in there, building it up non-stop seeing where it takes us that is the aim of the game right now and this right here comes down here hello just like that that's going to cut across to there like that and that's a little horse riding head pow just like that and I rock it over to there fantastic just like that fantastic guys you lied to me your first light <laughs> i'm sorry um Yes, I look guys, when it comes to making these pictures, sometimes you can guess it and you say 10 to 10 hours, 12 hours, this many hours, and sometimes you just get it so compellingly wrong. Um, it chops and changes so wildly. So that's okay. I'm still waiting on a few weeks for the frames actually. If Jason, if you're here. Your works with a frame right now, the frame's completed. So that's incredible. Now I'm trying to ship it. I'm going to pick it up tomorrow because I want to ship that work to you as soon as possible because it's the most amazing piece. Um, where did the inspiration come from? Honestly, I've always loved painting, Jessica. I love painting. I love art. I love everything to do with it. I love the craft of it. I love how art's so chaotic. I love how painting's sort of like this weird craft of chaos. I've always, I've always never resonated with uh, realism art. I've always resonated with the chaos and wildness that paint can bring. And in that today's world, guys, I really do believe that we need more of that chaos. We need more of that uh, letting go, that primalism. And I think paint in its rawest form can help us do that. And honestly, it's a privilege to pursue it in a way that I think we can make a meaningful difference and share it with people and bring some primalism to their lives in a meaningful way, in a wholesome way. I don't know what you guys do. I don't know whether you're waking up being a traffic warden, whether you're waking up and being a hedge fund manager, whether you're waking up and being a doctor, an artist yourself, a scientist, but you've got a craft, and hey, hopefully this little bit of love here tonight, or today, wherever you are in the world, um, is going to help you be a catalyst, back, going to be a catalyst to help you do that, which I would personally love. New Zealand expressions are the greatest. I've started saying chops and changes now. That's fantastic. Jason, you're more than welcome to have it. 
I never had rice to it in the first place. Um, now, I'm just thinking. I wonder, uh, it must be down the truck. It's all good. It's all good. I don't need it. I don't need it right now. But I'll need it later. Sky. Add some more to the sky. Energy. Bouncing around. That's what we're up to. Never met someone who messes up words as much as I do. Yeah, but I like to own it. So if you hear me make like a blah, blah, blah noise, I'm trying to loosen up my mouth to try and actually make the syllables correctly. And sometimes, guys, you speak so much that my jaw gets tired. And when it gets tired, it trips up a little bit more. And when it trips up a little bit more, I've got to own up to more mistakes while I'm talking. So this is all part of the process. Hi all. <laughs> Thanks, T. Now, did you start painting hyper-realistic things? And honestly, I just keep going and hoping I do my best. I love that. As long as you're loving it, going and just doing your best is exactly what you should be doing. If you're not loving doing that, figure out a way to love it because sometimes art doesn't work out in the way that sometimes you spend hours and hours and hours on a piece and it doesn't come together but you know what even if it doesn't come together if you loved making it you loved the process and you loved what you were doing it doesn't matter that the end result wasn't what you wanted it to be because the process was something that you loved being a part of and that's not just for art that is literally for anything that you're gonna do with your day or with your life. If you find a way to love it, it doesn't matter where you end up, you'll love the process. So, find a way to love what you do. Yeah, wholesome advice. Or, I'm just a random Kiwi, ignore me. Who knows, take it with a grain of salt. How long does a piece like this take? It really depends. Sometimes we have these works that come in here and they take three hours and we smash them. Other times we have works that come in here and they take six hours, nine hours, 30 hours. It chops and it changes. And that's okay. Every work's unique. It goes on its own trajectory. It changes in its own unique ways. And it builds in its own unique ways. And we let that happen. Um, but I try to... The perfect point, the perfect point is about seven hours. Anywhere between five to seven hours is when we really nail it. That's when most our brush strokes, most our brush strokes had to land in the right place. In a most beautiful way, layering itself up gently. Sorry, am I standing in front of it too much? My bad. Um, we've also got, there we go, a little bit more blue. We'll sneak down here with it. You're also a Kiwi. What will you paint next? I have bad art block. You know what? Bad art block's a thing. Sometimes it happens. Just know that, I don't know who you are, but there's some really amazing things about you as an individual. And whether you've been told them or you've realized them or not, they exist. And you're loved. Maybe more than you realize. Now, that's an important thing if you're in an art block. And also, another thing to remember, try and figure out ways out of an art block before you get into one. What is it? Is it a massage? Is it music? Is it sports? Social sports? Is it friends? Is it family? What helps you get out of a situation that you get stuck in? You're right. What helps you with that? That is where what you want to figure out before you get in that situation. Thank you for your support, viewers. So was, oh, thank you very much. Nyla, Nyla. I like that name. It's similar to, uh, similar to, um, blah, 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 blah. Bear with me, I'm gonna get there. Uh, similar to Nyla from Lion King. And you're more than welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> So, dress fancy. I believe, I believe that when it comes to painting, for me personally, when I dress smart, I paint smarter. If I dress in fat pants, if I've got spaghetti stains on a white singlet, and if I'm just painting like that, 
I will paint lazier, I will land less strokes because I won't take myself seriously subconsciously. If you're finding that you're making a big mess while painting and you'd like to fix that, one good way to address it, sorry, just gonna, yeah, beautiful. One good way to address it is to put on your fanciest clothes, fanciest clothes and go to paint and you'll subconsciously change the way you paint. You'll concentrate on where the brush strokes land because you'll know that you stand to lose valuable clothing if you don't use accuracy in your strokes. And so a simple way of putting it, guys, is dress smart, paint smart. Um, I'm really big on that, guys. I've never, I've never done good work in fat pants and dirty singlets. I've only done, I've done my best work in a suit but I usually don't paint in a suit because it tightens the shoulders up too much and I can't reach high enough, so the work has to be a little bit smaller. But um, a dress shirt, dress pants. Have the ability to move, to have that whole spread of your arm like this, so you can paint, but also have that ability to really feel like you're the part. So you subconsciously be the part. Do you save your lives anywhere? That's a great question. Yes, I do. So I can download them straight from TikTok and then I grab them and I throw them straight up onto YouTube. I'm a little bit behind, but the link to YouTube is in my bio. Just click that main link and YouTube should be there. It's called like live replays and you can get all of them there where you can follow certain paintings. You can see paintings that maybe you haven't seen before. All the magic, guys. Um, yeah, that's all on YouTube. And that's pretty cool, I suppose, if you were hanging out late night and I wasn't on, but you want a little fix. That's what that's there for. I'll definitely try dressing up to paint and see if I'm any better. I really encourage it, Rich. Don't think about it in the way of, am I better? Am I better, am I better? I want you to look at it just in terms of how you felt. How did it feel inside your mind when you dressed nightlessly? Did you value yourself more while you were painting? Did you love the process more? Did you think about the process differently? These are the questions I want you to ask yourself um, if you do trial it. Because actually at the end of the day, that's kind of all that matters, guys. Um, if you get results, if you, if you focus on results straight away off the bat, and judge everything you do with painting on the results, you might not get that uh, same desired outcome. Uh, and my birthday is 12th of January. VRO, 12th of January. Um, because creative process isn't so much a journey to achievement, guys. Sometimes there's side quests, and sometimes you end up in uh, ruts, highs, and all sorts of areas. So, if you do try something new, and it sends you in the wrong direction, it's okay. When I say wrong direction, that's probably because you're in a results-driven mood. Sometimes, sometimes, what you want to do, like I say, is concentrate entirely on how it made you feel. Because understanding how different things make you feel, even if it's bad, will help you get a deeper understanding of yourself to actually go ahead and develop yourself in the right way further. You can only stand to gain by getting a deeper understanding of who you are. <laughs> Something earthy. Something earthy. I'm new here. Do you primarily use acrylic? I do primarily use acrylic. There's a reason for that. The reason we primarily use acrylic on this channel, this channel, is this a channel? The, I mean, the reason why I the reason why I primarily use acrylic while I'm painting is because. 
it dries really fast and so we can add lots of layers over a few days whereas with oil there's long drying times usually a couple of weeks and so this will extend out things like shipping this will extend out things like building out 10 to 20 layers we like to actually have this fast wild ability now acrylics and oils are fairly closely matched i love them both quite deeply um, but the reason why i swap to acrylics is because I, can, uh, I can get a lot of the effects that i get from oils from acrylics provided i add the correct mediums to the paint to allow them to perform in certain ways in this case I'm adding a lot of gloss medium to the paint and what that's doing is it's allowing the paint to dry similar to oils with a wet sheen look which I like that's what I like that's what I like there we go hello just like that beauty where are we at we're looking good sky needs more attention we'll get there we're doing well here guys Hello JJ, welcome to the stream. Anyone see that print? Anyone see that print? I'm not sure what print, but I'm excited about the print. Print sounds like fun. The print sounds like fun. There we go. Beautiful. So late, it is late here, but it's all right. We're having fun. We're having fun. We're slapping on paint. We're making ground in all the right ways. Oh yeah. Now in this area down here to try and create that perspective, a lot of these strokes are gonna be longer. A lot of them are gonna have more of a flick style to them. Really develop the painting. And then there's a little hand down here. A little hand. Doing his little hand things. Excuse me while I develop this one, guys. There we go. Beautiful. Just like that. Sneaking around here like that. Developing this hand. Pushing it this way. Pushing it that way. Slowly allowing it to take its form the way I know it wants to. And then just creating this freedom in the paint. We need that freedom, guys. This painting needs to be embellished in that way. Is it Wednesday in New Zealand? It is Wednesday in New Zealand, guys. I think. Don't take my word on it. it. Was Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Could be Wednesday. It'll be Wednesday in less than a week. I guarantee that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> cheers guys. Um, right, how are we sitting here? We need some more paint in the sky. We need more paint in the sky. And we're going to keep adding it. Here we go. Mixing in our cerulean blue. Our cobalt blue, sorry. With our gloss medium. We're thrashing it around. That's what we want. We want a thrashed, beautiful, expressive energetic, booming sky with all the energy in the world just slashing around in it trying to show off the energy and the fun of what we now know is Okura Okura I think that's the name of the place Shall we can tell us more she's not here but she could thongs and socks I mean, that's cool, Amy. Oh, I'm wearing, uh, yes, I am, indeed. Can you see those? But it's because it's um, hot in here. So to counter it, I am wearing the appropriate footwear to cool off, so to say. Very wholesome. Ma Marcin, do you ever plan on, ha, <laughs> I know it isn't about art, I love kids Marcin, I think kids are amazing, I worked as a uh, camp counsellor for a long time, 
loved it. Looking after kids, taking them on trips, the whole thing was a real thrill for me. Um, the age group that I looked after was the seven to 10 year olds and I loved it. And I also did the uh, 15 to 16 year olds or 14 to 15 year olds, I forget. And they were great too. So absolutely, Marcin, that would be phenomenal. Um, <laughs> take your mind for now. I mean, hey, look, look, that's an option. I don't think it's going to happen though, Marcin. I would, I would paint, you know. What's this going on here? I gotta get, uh, gotta get this painting show on the road. Here we go, beautiful. Add a bit more of this white through here. Add this white in here. Yum, 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 yum. Lots of thick, thick paint splashed around in here to capture these waves doing their wave-like things. The audacity of these waves are wave-like. How could they? Here we go. Slash that through here. Slash it around the sides of the canvas. Really sprinkle it on there. This is called pasto technique now. What does that mean? We're adding texture on with the paint to make certain areas stand out. In this case, it's so vibrant and crazy that actually a lot of it's standing out. And that's okay. There we go, hello. Probably a bit too much in pasto here, but that's okay. But that's okay. There we go, hello. And then a little bit more around here. Just like that. Just like that. With a black and white cat. There we go, perfect. I will turn back around, guys. I'm just sort of just checking that stuff out there. Fun, fun. We're on a great track there. Um, Wait, <laughs> cheers, Jaden. Um, how do you detail the face correctly? All right, the face is a wee way off yet, but like I say, if you're trying to make a face and you're working with impressionism, don't focus on the face. Think shapes and tones and colors, see those in the image and apply them to the canvas. A lot of the time we can get hung up on trying to detail faces, chests, hands. We're not doing that. We're putting the focus on the entire canvas at once and so we slowly bring the face out. Now please, if your face looks funny, let it look funny. But don't put more attention on the face than the rest of the canvas. Bring it up equally. Do I consider myself an impressionist? Um, I think if you googled impressionism, this is the style of art you would get. I like to view this more as primalism, um, which probably isn't the most formal term for it, but that's okay. I say primalism because I believe in the world we currently live in with all our white walls, with the amount of time, even right now for me, that I spend looking at a screen, um, it sounds so over, it sounds so like a broken record to hear it being said again, but I believe that actually getting boxed, um, like when I say boxed, I mean on your wall, in a frame, a little square or rectangle of just raw human expression a return to just the fundamental feelings that we have of being a homo sapien and the wild expression that can come out of paint, the vibrancy from it. That's where painting needs to go. It needs to go in that direction in a very, very raw and um, expressive sense so that actually, um, yeah, we can bring more of what makes life fun into our lives. Um, I think AI art's amazing, I think photography is amazing, but I think nothing can quite replicate the raw, primal, expressive um, things that paint can evoke. Um, which is a niche, but it is special and it's unique. Um, when did you start painting and what made you want to? Oh my god, when I started painting when I was two years old. Since I was a baby, since I was a little baby. But what made me keep, what, what made me want to start painting? I love paint, I love colour, I love, like all the stuff I'm talking about, when I say raw primalism, expression, this is things that I love guys, this is my passion, I love making it, I love creating these chaotic works, I love being the crafter of the chaos, um, I love that it is a craft of chaos, that idea in itself, I really like. 
Um, and honestly, um, I love the way it makes other people feel. I think that's really special. I think when other people get something out of something that you make and you can see fulfillment in them and you can see them get pleasure from it, I think seeing someone else get pleasure is one of the most satisfying things that can happen to you. And so it's very, very fulfilling to make art that has that effect on people. Um, so yeah, those would be all the reasons that I love to make art. Yeah. I hope that answered the question. I wasn't too waffly. Um, yes, we did have a wedding uh, portrait here. That is now in Christchurch. She loves it. I'm so happy. Um, it was the most amazing portrait to paint. I've said it before. The photographer carried the team on that one. So it's the most phenomenal photo. How the hell are you even reading these comments standing so far? Um, it's on an iPad. Great trick. Ah. So, it's on an iPad, the text is larger, it allows me to read from across the room, but it allows you guys to get a better perspective of the painting rather than a crushed in little box. So, that's what you get. Whoever is putting my comments, I love you. Very wholesome thing to say, Jessica. Appreciate you saying it. We've got some amazing people who look after the stream and some amazing people who watch the stream some amazing people who share the stream honestly guys it's really special i think it's fantastic i think we do some amazing stuff here i think i love sharing the art with you guys i think it's really special i love that i get the opportunity blah, 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 blah. <laughs> let me just catch my words here i love that i get the opportunity to do this um, and share this with you guys. I don't take that lightly. I think it's really special. Um, yeah. Yeah. And here I am, just, just steadily losing my trail of thought. <laughs> um, that being said though, guys, if you are new here, or if you haven't yet, I would love you can leap across, there's a bi uh, in my bio, there's a link which can take you to the replays of these um, for other artworks that I've done. There's a link to Instagram, there's an email, um, or you can follow here, or you can just not and hang out, that's good too, whatever works for you. The creativity and passion here is making me question my, Jaden, don't you, I mean, you can question your life decisions, but don't you dare question, uh, them in a negative light because you made those decisions and you're a great human being and you made those decisions for reasons and you know what you can be proud of that and so you can always change what you do but at the end of the day mate we've all made decisions and we all just need to love who we are i know it sounds cheesy but guys man alive we run around and beat ourselves up about stuff and at the end of the day we did our best <laughs> and I look back on my 30 years and I think there's so many things I can look at and be like oh should have done that better oh wish I'd done that yeah well you know that now because you're older but at the time you know what I gave it my best and that's what we got to so what are you gonna do and I bet you I bet you're in the exact same boat so yeah the best thing you can do though if you want to do something creative guys is well, if you already sing in the shower and if you already like to dance, because those are two, are two amazing ones, fantastic. With painting, just start painting. I know it sounds cheesy and upset, but if you start painting, you don't need to show anyone, but make sure you're enjoying it. You know, it doesn't matter what you paint or how you paint it. Forget the result. Throw the result out. It's irrelevant, actually, like on the, on the scale of things. Make sure that when you're making it, you're enjoying it. Is it music? Is it wine? Is it friends? What's making that environment fun for you? Pursue that. That's awesome. And you know what? Maybe that's just a little release you needed. Maybe after you've done that, um, you'll actually be able to go back to your job, you know, whether you're a real estate agent, whether you're a taxi driver, whether you're a security guard, whether, you know, whatever your craft is, because these are crafts. Make no mistake. A taxi driver in New York is an absolute mastermind. To navigate those streets the way they do and to navigate the traffic in the way they do, that's a craft. Make, like, I, like that gets my heart racing to even think about that. But whatever your craft is, 
from that list, little list we just rattled off, or anything else, maybe just a little bit of creative release, whether it was dancing, music, art, in a little way, was all you needed to go back to it, revitalize, to really attack it and enjoy it. And if that's the case, fantastic. Encourage that. Encourage that. How long does it take you to paint a large one? Hmm. Seven to ten hours. Seven to ten hours. That's a good. That's a good guess. It's a good guess. Pop the collar. Yeah. It's a, is it a popped? It shouldn't be. I'm not cool enough to pop collars, guys. I don't pretend like I'm cool enough. I don't think I'll ever be cool enough. Um. I'm the kind of guy that shops at, I like Rebel Sport, I like Mac Pack. If I'm to buy clothes new, that is. Usually though, I like shopping at an op shop, guys. Op shops go hard. I really like an op shop because I like the variation that exists in the op shops. I think it's fun. Is that your full-time job or a side occasional pig? Oh, gig, ha, <laughs> sorry. Um, art's my full-time gig, guys. So, speaking of, if you would like a commission, there is no room in February, but full to the brim, but there is time to do it in March. So, if you'd like to start talking about a piece of something, uh, an artwork to be created for you, let's start the discussion, and it will be started in March. And we have got some fun ones, some fun commissions coming up in February. Believe me, we've got surfers, we've got this lady, we've got a family portrait with some fun compositional colours everywhere. We've got a couple, a really unique couple in a really special situation. Um, I've been talking to them today, I love it, I love it, I love it. And we're painting it very, very soon. Within the next 48 hours, they've just got a layer of uh, gesso gloss on them this morning, if you're part of the morning stream. And they are looking fantastic. And they are ready to be started. I'm excited. Do you sell any? Is in sell paintings? So I have got a few paintings. They're not listed online. They're not listed online. They were, they were listed. No, sorry, they were. I had some artwork listed, but it's gone. It's gone. All I've got now is my passion projects. I keep them around the studio just to lighten the space up, to motivate me, to engage my space in a way that I can love it. Um, I, if someone asks, I share the painting, so I can send you pictures of my little passion projects. But um, in terms of an online shop, no. We're, we've just got commissions going at the moment. Um, as I find more time going into the year, I'd love to start building up a body of art in a way that you can, I can actually share it with you guys and you can buy it off the spot, but right now, it's all about me. <laughs> Sorry, so it's so selfish of me. I've got like five works, they should be listed, but I love what they do to the studio. They're fun, they're full of life, they're just, I love it. Um, and since I lost uh, Rossi, the dog painting, I'm sort of having withdrawals, so I'm holding on to a few different ones. Uh, sorry, I missed that comment there that was highlighted. My bad. A shocker. Um, well, if you ever plan on selling any again, I'm definitely love to buy. Uh, Jessica, reach out to me on Instagram because even if you don't buy, I can share with you some pictures of uh, some of the shots. Very happy to do that. Um, what do you use to wash all the paint off your clothes? Super hard to find something. Axel, first off, don't get it on your clothes. Full stop. <laughs> it's a stupid thing to say. It gets on your clothes sometimes, guys. Um, you can see two little blips right here. Boom, boom. So this happens. You're going to get paint on your clothes. Um, I use regular soap. Works like a treat if it's oil paint. Getting the soap bar and rubbing it on the paint is great. The sooner you get it, the better. If it's a fancy coloured shirt, sometimes it can be tough because things like turps will alter the colour or wear out the colour. So be careful on what you decide to use. 
Um, I will say that I shop at op shops. So if I do get it on a shirt beyond repair, it's okay. The shirt cost me $2 and I can go get another. Um, but really do try and look after your clothes. If you went to the effort to have it, go to the effort to look after it. It's a wholesome way to be. Thank you very much, Just Milky. You're fantastic. I really appreciate it. Um, guys, if you are enjoying it here, hey, there he is, Jaden. If anyone hasn't met Jaden before, Jaden is the most consistent fan that we have here. Jaden's an absolute champion who comes on every now and again. And he asks for, every time, a turtle. And at this stage, I'm the bully for having not painted the turtle yet. Because Jaden, I love your passion. And I love that this one actually came with little turtle pictures. <laughs> um, now, there we go. A little bit more of this, a little more of that. Jason, thank you so much. I love you. And thanks for supporting the stream. I really appreciate it. My IG is just Seb, S-E-B, underscore Gower, G-O-W-E-R. But if you click on the link in my bio, it'll take you through there and you'll be away. So that's fun. That's fun. That's fun. Da -dun 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 -dun. Um, am I missing any of, oh there we go, what kind of paint do you use? That's a great question. I use acrylic paint, I like the way it dries, I like the way I can add mediums to it to make it more transparent, to make it more glossy, to make it more fluid, to make it thicker, to change the texture of it, to build it and it dries fast so I can go through multiple layers in a hurry. This is all fantastic reasons to be on acrylic paint. I love oil paints, don't get me wrong, but God, oh, acrylic's pretty cool. If you've got kids, or if you've got a confined space, acrylic's phenomenal. The reason acrylic's phenomenal in a confined space and with kids is because it's not as toxic as oil paint. Um, you might hear oil paint's non-toxic. Well, if I gave you a tube of acrylic and a tube of oil, which one would you prefer to eat? Don't eat either, of course, but acrylic's gonna be slightly better for you. Um, so, yeah. Here we go. Hope that helps. I got a head rush from standing. Well, sit down then. Look after yourself. Don't get head rushes. You want to make sure you look after your head. Here we go. All right, we're going to need to get some uh, blue. Now we're going to put this paint tray down. It's been a great day. Oh, are we going to do that? No, I'm going to slash away that last little bit of blue. I'm too aggressive, guys. This blue needs to go. This blue needs to go on the canvas. And we're going to do that. Oh, that is the wrong color in the wrong spot. That is definitely the wrong color in the wrong spot. But it's okay. Because, like I say, guys, the best way to fix an incorrect stroke is with 20 correct ones. It's going to be okay. What kind of medium do I recommend for someone starting out? I recommend that you go to acrylic. Acrylic's amazing. If it gets in your clothes, it's easy to wash out. Acrylic is quite easy to mix. It's quite cheap. Um, acrylic is also used by professionals. So any knowledge you get with acrylic isn't like, oh, well, now let's play with the proper paint. Actually, you'll have skills and knowledge that will transition perfectly to the next um, skill level that you want to reach. I think that's wholesome. Um, usually with things is you start like sailing for example, you start in an optimist or a P class and then you slowly build up to a laser and these other things and you're like, well of course the same sailing stuff applies but it's a different boat altogether. But with acrylic paint, although you can buy slightly higher quality versions of it, the skills you'll learn and how to mix it and use it will remain the same. Will remain the same. And someone will be like, no it doesn't. And I'll be like, well yes it does. 
Was <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, guys. If you want to connect more, leap on Instagram. It's in the bio. It's via a link. It's a link tree. It doesn't look like a regular link. You just click that. It will take you through to all the great places. It'll take you through to the replays of these. If you care enough for that, I understand. If you don't, but if you do, it's fantastic. It'll take you through to the. Um, TikTok, which if you left this page and wanted to get back to TikTok, you could use a little U-turn technique with that, possibly. I don't know, you do you. It's all there in the bio. If you just want to hang out here, I love having you here. We can do all those things. I messaged you on Instagram, sorry, had to store. <laughs> of course, Jessica, you're more than welcome to. In fact, some of the paintings that you've stalked are some of the passion projects, so I can't wait tell you which ones are which. Um, there's a mixture there. So there's a couple which are passion projects which people are talking. I, I say I'll show you these paintings. I've got about five to seven. I've already, I'm already talking to about three people at the moment about the paintings. So if I show you them and then you're like, I love that one. And I'm like, I sort of promised that to someone. Then please, please bear with me. Mm. Um, also guys I don't know what you do but if you are an artist or if, yeah, whatever your craft is please drink water mm. water good um, I was reading an article today in fact about water and that even slight dehydration can severely alter, well not severely, can, can alter your mood drastically. So, that's okay, but I think we want control over our mood, we want control over our daily processes, and the way that, that we're putting our best foot forward as a human being. Now, if you want to do that, you to drink water. Here we are. Life Lessons 101 with an artist, yeah. Look guys, it's good advice. I remember when I was a kid, there was a guy who gave this really important speech where he said if he knows one thing, wear sunscreen. Great advice, great advice. But if I was to give one piece of advice that I know to be true, uh, the five minutes I've been here has given me more. <laughs> oh, thank you, appreciate that. I do love Bob Ross though, he's an absolute champion. His only goal, I mean, he had lots of goals, but I mean, I feel like when you watch his stream, you get the distinct impression that his main goal is to just spread wholesome love to whoever's watching. And I think that is a very commendable goal. Love him for it, because that's also what I really strive to do. So... That's at the fundamental of it. What's my favorite wine? I can't think of any more art questions I've asked them all. Fair enough. Uh, my favorite wine. What's my favorite wine? Honestly, I like a rosé. I love champagne. I love a, what's that drink we get champagne and add some orange juice to it. But I like to go, imagine 150 mils of champagne with about 120 mils of soda water with the last 30 mils being orange juice. I'm not a sweet guy. I like to have more champagne and soda water, but that makes it easier to drink. It be cool. Gosh, shall we make something for me all the time? Someone tell me. Mimosa. Lana, you're an absolute champion. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, no, someone beat you to it. I'm telling a lie there. It was Lee Lay. Le Layla, got me on my knee, Layla. What a song. Um, yes, you were first. You're all first. We're all winners here, guys. We're all, we're all sharing this little moment together. Um, but yeah, Bob Ross, Spreads Wholesome Love, big fan. Suddenly a Vincent Van Gogh. Yeah, Vincent is fantastic. Vincent's an absolute champion. The reason Vincent's a champion is because he was able to paint pictures that so many people could get a little bit of happiness from. 
You're not supposed to get a sermon, guys. It's not supposed to change your life when you see a Van Gogh painting, but you do feel just a little bit of pleasure. And the fact that he was able to give a little bit of pleasure to so many millions of people around the world through his paintings, that's something truly potent and truly special. Um, so when using acrylic, does it dry quickly when needing to do the next layer? Yes, indeed. You're gonna find that acrylic dries within, oh, heck, sometimes minutes. When I'm outside with the wind and the sun, sometimes it can be dry within, uh, like as you're applying it. Sometimes it gets dry so fast that it's dry on the paint tray. This is life. This is okay. This is what happens. Um, there we go. A little bit of this. I mean, 60. The 60. Congratulations. Do you know there was someone who, I was reading this thing today people who started their careers late in life and what ages they started with before they became successful and I don't like the word successful it's a buzzword I think we use it incorrectly I think the very fact that our, uh, that we as a culture or I hear people use the word successful as the goal more than being happy how outrageous is that it's like successful is like a stepping stone that you should use to being happy but to see anything else as the main goal, guys, is ridiculous. So people who reached the ages of 60s and 74, 74 I think this lady was, who then uh, found a method in which to pursue her own happiness at that age that she hadn't realized before. How special is that? And she took it the distance. Good for her. Big kudos. I'm glad you love this painting. I love this painting too. I love the fact that it's abstract, that it's raw, that it's splashing colors, that it's just all over the show, and yet there's this underlying perspective to it that you can see these shapes and forms going in directions. I think that's wholesome. I think that's very wholesome. And thank you very much for the mirror. That's lovely, and the rose. Cheers, guys. When using acrylic paint, how quickly does it dry to do the next layer? Look, honestly, if you left it for a day, that would be any God's amount. But this paint literally on this tray right now is almost dry. It's almost finished. It is what it is, man. Sometimes it dries real fast. And we just have to deal with that. There we go. Coming on there. Coming on there. Coming on in. A little bit of tan. A little bit of tan. He keeps missing it. Feeland, I'm so sorry. You should go live more. I know I should. I know. But I get tied up. There's so many things to do. Um, I try to keep the boring stuff off here too, guys. I tried. I did some gessoing this morning. But usually I do that off stream. I do that in my own little private space. Shouldn't I be in bed? No, absolutely not. Not while I'm here sharing this with you guys. I want to be here... I want to share this craft, and you know what? We have got a limited, a limited amount of time to complete this piece of work. And so we're going to use up every available minute because I want to make sure this work, when it leaves the studio, is embellished with so much, so much love that it is undeniable how much fun and vibrant energy, all the good things, all the goodness that should be in this painting will be in this painting. And I've got 48 hours to do that, so I'm going to do it. Or, you know what, I can't say that. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try my best. And I think that, that alone is a compelling thing. There we go, hello, just like that. I'm gonna sneak across here, and fly a little bit through here. And then we're gonna grab a bit of hair through here. Hair doesn't always travel in the same direction, guys. When you're painting it, sometimes the brush stroke should go horizontal. You never know. So don't just paint hair in long, wispy forms because you think that's what hair should look like. That's painting what you think you see and not what you actually do see. So paint what you actually do see, guys. This is important. This is important. Am I missing some things there? Morning, Daniel. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. It's good to have you guys here. It's good to have you all here. You all know that. It's an absolute pleasure 
to be able to paint in front of you guys. It's an absolute pleasure to share a little bit of happiness. As I'm painting, guys, I told you this before, but as I paint, I'm filling up my cup. Filling up my figurative cup to the brim. Now, what do I do with that cup? I do my best. Could I do it better? Yeah, I could, but I do my best to pour from that cup into yours through this little camera, through this little digital form, in a way that hopefully I can improve your day a little bit or help you pursue a craft that you care about. Or, you know what, just make you enjoy art. Get a little kick, a little bit of enjoyment. Seb, can you answer again about drying time? <laughs> Sorry, Cheryl. Um, so, about a day. About a day. Day, you're definitely safe. You can do it for about six hours. Honestly, most of the paint that I've applied to this tonight will be dry in the next 10 minutes because we've been adding a gloss gel into it, which helps it dry more rapidly. But basically, a day is the maximum for acrylic paint. Unless you've applied a blah, 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 blah. Unless you've applied it stupidly thick. Then it will take longer but you know what you're real safe in the realms of a day and you might find your work dries in like 10 minutes two hours three hours and you'll be like seems set a day that's much too long that's maximum time guys and also like you'll see on paint containers in your diy store sometimes they'll say times that you feel like was longer but it actually needs that time not just to dry but to set just because the paint looks dry doesn't mean it's fully set the whole way through and it's clinging to the canvas properly. So you need that. You need that. That happens in about a day. Mi solo es verdo. I don't understand. No hablo espanol. No hablo espanol. Lo siento. No hablo inglés. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girls all over the world. I could be chasing, my time would be wasting. They got nothing on you, baby. No, no, nothing on you, baby. Nothing on you, baby. No, 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 nothing on you, baby. I don't know the words, guys. I don't know the words. All right, that's enough of this paint tray. We are moving on to paint tray dots. This is fun. Here we go. I'm going to bring in here so you can see what's happening. Here's the paintbrush. Um, hmm. Too much paint on that. Get rid of some of the paint. Here we go. Off you come. Here we go. All of that. Get rid of all that goodness onto this little device we've got here. There we go. That's enough. That's enough. Um, we get a bit more. Now we're golden there. That's good enough. Perfect. So we're going to need some orange yellow oxides, my favorite. Um, a little bit of that on there. We're going to grab some. No, 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 nothing on you, babe. Um, what's that? Naples yellow. Basically, a pastel yellow. That's all we're after here. Um, while I'm doing this, you should go on to my bio and do the follow thing. There's Instagram, YouTube replays, um, which is just this on replay, which is like a slightly less fun version of this because you can't comment. So, I mean, you know, if you're into that. Um, and there's also the ability to uh, email me, reach out for commissions. There's an about me page, all the fun things via one fancy little link in the bio. How about that? How wild. Right, a little bit of white. Why? I don't know. Probably won't need it, but I felt like it. So here we are. Right, that can go in there. What else do we need? I'm going to grab some oxides. What's oxides? Oxides are brownish colors. Oxides are a fancy way of saying warm brown. My person out there is like, no, it's not. Well, you know what? I reckon it's a good way to explain it. Here we go. Sienna, raw sienna dark. Yeah, that's a good one. That's exactly what we're after. Sorted. Now, the next thing we need 
This is the wild card team. We need some, excuse me, that was a loud clap. Gesso gel, here it is. Gloss medium, not gesso gel, gloss medium. We're gonna add this all around our paint. The reason why we do that is this stuff here, voila, is gonna make it seem wet, and raw, and primal, and not seem dry and old. We don't want dry and old. We want raw, fast, and primal. That's what this does, fun times. All right. I'm sorry, it sounded aggressive. I was just putting it down. I'm here for it. I'm so much info, I'm desperately craved that you are so, so welcome. This brush needs a proper clean. I'm being lazy here, guys. I'm gonna grab a little rag. Give me one second. Now, more important than the actual brush itself, I'm getting rid of the chunks that get around the base of it, because they'll come off on the work and look ugly. But the brush itself, I don't mind that blue. They can mix right in with the yellow. It'll be gone in no time. It'll be fine. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate you all. Um, so, here we are. Now, paint brush. Paint. Artwork. So, that's the three major things actually. We've got everything we need. How cool is it to know we've got everything we need? Right, we're gonna use the Indian yellow first. What's Indian yellow? It's like regular yellow, blah, blah. it's like regular yellow, but just a bit more fun. A bit more punch in it actually. I think uh, regular yellow can be a little bit soft sometimes. Not enough kick, but when we add Indian yellow in there, we can get all the fun. Indian yellow is a good yellow. It's slightly more expensive than regular yellow, but that's okay. But that's okay. I like it. No, 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 nothing on you, babe. Here we go. Let me just push this away. There we go. Lame oh bye. Oh no, we got kicked. Someone gone. There we go. There we go. And we're just adding this yellow in here. This is really gonna make our character pop, guys. But we have to be careful. Can't overdo stuff like this. You gotta use just the right amount. Just the right amount. Otherwise, it'll overpower the character we're trying to make. We don't wanna overpower that. We've done so much beautiful brush work, but we want to accentuate it, and so that's why we're using this. Oh, that was a good stroke, but that's okay. Keep going here, through here. Again, we're looking at the shapes and tones. We are not, we are not seeing what we want, uh, seeing what we think we see, or what we think we want to see. We're only painting what's actually there as accurately as we can. This lady has the most amazing jawline. We're trying to capture that. Every detail. Here we go. We'll slowly build that face out, but I want to put more attention on the face, but this is as far as we go with this beautiful yellow color that we're currently working with. Give me a few more strokes here, guys. Just a few more strokes to build up this paint. If, I'm, if you've made a comment and I'm missing it, I am so sorry. I will get to you. But this paint is just demanding my attention. I'm just gonna put it in here in a few places. There we go. And a little bit more down here. Creeping up the side here, all the way around the side. It's called doing your homework, guys. Coming out the edges of the painting. Um, I think I missed some, you know, I missed anything? I'm so sorry. Um, you're back, your TikTok was boring. I'm sorry to hear that, but you know what? Now I've got questions for you. Why'd you leave? Why'd you go? How could you? Start browsing out to the rest of TikTok, but I'm here trying to entertain you with wholesome painting, and you scrolled right on past. <laughs> 
Um, there we go. Now we're mixing in a little bit of tan. So this is going to lighten up the colour a wee bit. Um, and it's going to make it chill more actually because the yellow we were using, very intense guys, a lot of energy to it, which is fine, but we actually also need just a little bit of relaxation coming through. Can't all be strong colours. Can't all be strong colours. We need some colours to relax, some colours to chill out. And that's what the job of this tan is going to be. More mild, less intense. Just trying to hang out. There we go. Just through there. Let's check a bit through here as well. Look at that. Now we're talking. Hello. Beautiful. I'm going to pop a little bit down here. Yum. A bit of a vein through here. Not a vein. Collarbone. Cool. Collarbone. Still fun. Check a bit of this in here. A little bit in here. A little bit in here. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Coming through there like that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Sorry for missing some comments, guys. Also, guys. Oh my god, you'll be getting sick of me saying it. And I totally understand. Mate, he keeps saying it. Why doesn't he just paint? If you want to connect more, it's in the bio. You can click in there. There is a link to Instagram. There is a link to... Um, uh, YouTube for the replays. There's a link to all sorts of places. I would love to connect more. If you want to send an email, that's there as well. If you want to get a commission, there's a form to fill out. If you're like, I don't do forms, then that's fine. You can email me via, uh, what's we call it? You can email me or you can send me a Instagram message. I'm a little slow on Instagram. I'm so sorry. I try to keep up. Sometimes I fail dismally. Um, so, it's all that. But at least you know, within my dismal failure of replying, I try. I try. Like, who's that lady? Is it Nancy? Who is it? I try to say goodbye and I choke. Try to walk away and I stumble. Yeah, I try to have it. That's fair. My world crumbles when you are not there. What a tune. And the other one by uh, Tracy Chapman, that I used to remember when I was a kid, Fast Car. What a banger. I've been here for an hour and already seen so much amazing progress on this painting. Jason, it is an absolute pleasure to not only have you here in this stream, but to have you in the streams that we've done in the past. I love it how you hang out because you do see the work slowly develop. One really fun thing that I we're doing now that I've got the iPad, so it helps me read, <laughs> fantastic. Um, we've got the phone taking a time lapse. So uh, at the end of the stream, I can upload the time lapse. And I'll just go like this real quickly. I just pause the time lapse to start a new one, so that way I don't lose it if something dies. So I had that one time. A giant long time lapse, really proud of it. Went to go get it, phone died, lost it. Tragic. Um, so, if you are watching this, if you are seeing development and you're enjoying that, there'll be a story later on where you can actually see all the little steps that we take, which is fun. Now, this is going to go conk. And in here, conk. And in here, kunk. Slowly coming together. One step at a time. It's no need to hide. It's like learning to fly. Falling in love. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. And the splash is going up here in the most wholesome of ways. Ching, 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 ching. It's like learning to fly. Fall in and love. Here we go, check a bit in here. All over the show, team. We're just uh, wholesome guys. Hope we're all looking after ourselves. Here we go. Now, just adding a little bit in here and there. Little bits at a time. 
All right, I think we've got enough yellow through that patch now. We'll run. We're going to add some more through here. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go, just coming up here like this. Sneaking up to where the borders, just like that. And the board itself is this little bit coming through it, and then it comes down here. Just coming across here like this. Brilliant, that's all we want. And a little bit coming out the back, and then coming down here. Perfect, around the back, done. On to Lear White. Here we go, one step at a time. <laughs> Cheers guys. Pinot Picasso. I love Picasso, but I love Van Gogh the most. If you've been on here before, you'll know. Seb's got a soft spot for Van Gogh. Um, Always, my mother used to play that song. What was it? Um, starry, starry night for me when I was a kid. Yeah, great song. Anyway, anyway, I uh, also a couple of Van Gogh songs actually. Casso though, great guy. Starry, starry night. Come on. Hold fire there. I'm just jump in here like this. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. A little bit through here. There we go. Splash is coming up. And then on here, this is where we're going to dip down. Dip it low, oh, 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 just up there like that. Head coming up around here. That's the head of the horse rider. I'm going to dash this down to here and come across here and skyrocket out the side there. Beautiful. Whack that into there. Up there we go. Done and dusted. Great news. You literally taught me how to paint. Thank you so much. Kayla, you're an absolute champion. I really appreciate that. Um, I wouldn't say that I taught you how to paint as much as I probably taught you how to have fun while painting. If you got some tips, that's fantastic. If you need more tips, there's some amazing YouTubers who say some amazing stuff who can really give you some amazing tips. But when it comes to enjoying yourself when painting, I think that, I think that is one of the most important parts. And I think we all get so caught up on demanding ourselves to create something as a finished product and actually it's not about a finished product as much as it is how much do you love the process that you're taking part of and you're like oh yeah it's very cheesy you know okay so the process me, 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 me. actually that's fine but this is more about um, the result that I want yeah well if you think like that you may never get that result it's elusive like that it's like, uh, yeah, it's paradoxical. Like Master Ugwe in Kung Fu Panda, when he says, one often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. So that happens. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna cut in there like that. It's gonna come across there like that. It's gonna come there like that. Pushing in there, coming around here, there we go. Right around the side, guys, all the way up like that. Beautiful, and then we're gonna get a streak of the cloud through here. Bang, beautiful. There's also a few streaks we're gonna capture. Womp, just like that through there. Wonderful, those sort of strokes that we wait for, we hang out for those, the expression of them. You don't get that many opportunities to create big, bold, loose, expressive strokes. A lot of them are smaller, more intricate pieces that develop the whole painting. And some of them you'll see a moment where you can capture a larger piece. So that's all there, big fan. Um, can we request a painting? Matt, that's a great question. Of course you can. 
Um, what you want to do is you want to click on the link in the bio and there's a couple of options for you. You can either fill out the commission form to let me know what your plan is, what image you're thinking of and where I'll be shipping it to. And your other option is to just contact me direct via email or via Instagram and we can start the conversation and figure out what's going to work for you. Now, at the moment, there's no availability in February. February is full to the brim. But we can fit you in early March and ship it about the middle of March. Which I'd love to do. I'd enjoy that, it'd be wholesome, I'd be a big fan. Mm. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Right, where were we? We've got ourselves some whites, we've got ourselves some yellows. We need some more whites, we're not done yet. We're gonna get there. A little bit more white combined with a little bit more gloss gel. This looked like an oil painting. It will look like an oil painting, but it's not, it's a trick. I've done this tricky thing. What I've done is I've added a lot of gloss gel into the paint. It's made it look wetter, it's made it look more saturated. It's created the illusion of oil painting because I need to put more coats on this and I need them to dry. So, you'd be like, yeah, it's cheating. Yeah, well, you know what, I'm a cheater. It's fine, it's working out really well for me. Um, into, not in that way, in terms of cheating in the, 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 the paint. You know what I mean. Um, so, here we go, beautiful. We're gonna add these tracks in here. We're getting more specific now with where we're going with this paint. I'm liking it. I'm liking where it's going. I'm liking how it's getting there. Bro, no, absolutely not. I am, I like the saying, I am predictably loyal. Like a little golden retriever. One of my most endearing characteristics. <laughs> it's not even a word of sarcasm in there either. Let's go in here. Just like that, straighten that one out a little bit, perfect. And then pop down here, just like that. Perfect, now we're talking. Pull it through there, we're gonna come to the top part here. And we're gonna go, Ooh, just like that. Sorry for the sound effects, but you know what? I sort of like them. There we go. New Zealand must have some beautiful scenery. Every painting from New Zealand looks amazing. New Zealand does have beautiful scenery. We have some incredible artists for such a small country as well. And uh, that actually accentuates the beauty of some of those paintings, certainly. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of New Zealand landscape paintings, although I would love to. So here's to what the future might hold of Seb doing more landscape paintings. Can't wait. Love from Malaysia. Malaysia, lovely to have you here. Um, hope everything's going well over there. I'm not sure what time it is, but I'm sure you're having a good one. There we go, beautiful. Beautiful girls all over the world. I could be chasing, my time would be wasting. I got nothing on you, baby. No, 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 nothing on you, babe. Imagine being the backup singer, just, that's your job. You just jump in there to that song. No, 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 nothing on you, babe. Someone asks you to sing a bit, and that's all you can say. <laughs> a pretty funny job. Um, there we go, bouncing along there like that. Beautiful girls all over the world. I could be chasing. Mine would be racing. <laughs> Thanks guys. Um, if you come to US, oh jeepers creepers, there's a definite no on that one, but it's a lovely gesture, appreciate it. Um, not because of you, I'm sure you're an amazing person, but I've got an amazing person, I'm incredibly lucky. Here we go, coming on in here like this. Hello, hello you fantastic board, there we go. Um, when it comes to, is that socks in a flip flop? Yes, it is. How do you, how does everyone know that? 
How does everyone... Is it in the shot? <laughs> Can I not have my weird clothing in private? Oh my god. So violent, you guys. Um, CC. One fun thing about painting. It's all the little intricate pieces we get to discover, get to add to the canvas in the most wholesome bunch of intricate ways. And even though it's layers upon layers of abstraction, it's still there is intricacy to the chaos. This enjoyment. Hey, flip flops and socks are a thing here. They are indeed, Cheryl. They are indeed. I just thought I was going to get away with it subtly. I was like, I don't need to put on fancy shoes. I can get away with my flip flops. And it's also pretty uh, hot in the studio, so. There's two layers to this. No, 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 nothing on you, but oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. It's stuck in my head like a bad tune. It's not a bad tune, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, let's just whip that and be like that. I might say hi. They might say hey. They wouldn't worry about what they say. They got nothing on you, baby. Nothing on you, baby. I might say hi. They might say, you're like, see it. Come on, mate. It's enough. Get that song out of your head. And I'm like, I can't. I just like it. Sometimes, the other song that's stuck in my head all the time, guys, you may have heard it, is. Is, 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 is. Uh, it's me. Hi. I'm the problem, it's me. And if Victoria was here, she had a little jar. She's like, add money to the jar. Nah. Stop singing that song. That's totally fair enough. I'm gonna push that back a little bit. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go for a little bit of Sienna now. See where that takes us. Stuck in my head is the long dog face one. Let me do it for you. Um, I don't remember that one. I don't know all her songs, to be fair. But I do know Antihero. Everyone knows Antihero. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. At tea time. Everybody agrees. Pretty mean tea time. There we go. There we go. Just in there like that. Coming up here. Splash. Splash. Perfect. And then coming over here, over that shoulder. And then, just in here. And then, come over to here. Just getting this color and vibrancy, guys. Speed is the key for this part, because when we're adding color and vibrancy, we get points for speed. The paint looks different if it's applied fast, and we want it to have that fast, loose feel to it. That's what's going to add life into it, guys. You don't create life by going slow. You create life through expressive speed. And you're like, well, I mean, there's a lot of ways to create it, but that's the way I like to do it, guys. That's what I think we can really capture something special. Here we go, just through here like this. And this one comes down here like this. Strikes in here like this. Strikes in here like this. To me. Hi, I'm the problem, it's me, at tea time, everybody agrees. I stare directly in the sun, but never in the mirror. You look full of energy, it's after midnight. It is, it is after midnight. We're gonna go for a little bit longer. We're gonna add these colors on here, see where it takes us. If we keep landing good strokes, we'll hang around for a little bit longer. If we start losing our touch, then I'll be like, I'm done. 
and we may need to let some of this paint begin to dry. There we go. There we go. Perfect. We're going to take a little, little break shortly too. So I'm treat myself to a coffee. If we're going to hang around and keep going, give myself the energy I need to keep smashing paint on the canvas. One stroke at a time. There's no need to cry. It's like learning to fly, falling in love. There we go. Beauty. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. A team. Time. Everybody agrees. There we go. I'm going to add this uh, sienna out into a few other areas too, guys. Build it out. See where it takes us. Sorry if I'm missing anyone's comments, guys. If you've got questions and I'm just missing them over and over again because I reach out to this painting and start painting. And don't look around. Jason, love you to bits. Thank you so much for the galaxy. You're an absolute champion. Um, yeah, I love it. Every time you're on here, you support the stream. And I can't thank you enough for that because you... It's the little donations, and it's the people who order the artwork, and it's the passion and the love and the support from everyone that makes this possible. So, huge kudos to all of you. And on this occasion, Jason, especially you. Get some on my shirt. No, I'm doing pretty well for that at the moment, actually. I've kept my shirt pretty tidy, so. That's pretty fun. Slip that around there. Perfecto. I'm going to sneak this down here. What's going on down here? A little flick there. And then a couple of fingers here. Cool. cool. Then we've got some toes. Cool, cool. Ken. <laughs> Oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate that. There we go. Now, this color here is brown, but it's going to really help make these waves pop. We're going to add it in here. We're not going to get too worried about it. It's going to be good. There we go. A couple of little blips. A couple of little blips. It's going to look good. A couple more little blips. More little blips. A little few around here. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. What style of painting is this? I don't know anything about art. Milky tea and biscuits. Whew, interesting name. I like it. Um, this is, you could call it impressionism. Impressionism what is how you'll find more of this art on Google if you search that. But you could probably Tuning out super, oh hey, thank you very much Mikey, I appreciate that, I really do. Um, but I prefer to refer to it as primalism. So primalism is when we use rudimentary tools, and in this case, in a world of AI art and photography, rudimentary tools is a fabric canvas. It is tubes of paint, and it is a brush with bristles on it to apply paint. This is very primitive. This is rudimentary these days. And by using these rudimentary tools, we're connecting to these sort of more primal urges of being a homo sapien, which we are, we're still human. And we're trying to use that to create, well, an impression of the picture. But we're really sacrificing the realism of the picture, which means what the picture actually looks like. And we're focusing more on the looseness of the brush strokes the wildness of the paint, how we can get more raw and more expressive within the canvas and allowing the colours to be thrown around in a way that we actually can come close to it and we see this messy, gory, layered, primal, uh, just symphony of colours all just battling away. Probably not the right words, but you know what I mean. 
Um, and then when you stand back, a picture will start to come together. How is the style different from expressionism? Okay, expressionism and impressionism. So, expressionism, that's different again, but to talk about in, in, impressionism, imagine, let's go from realism. Let's say realism is when you see a picture and you say, right, let's make the most realistic version of that picture, or you see a landscape, let's make it look exactly like that landscape. So imagine, yeah, a direct replication of it, such that the two would compete for which one's more real. Now impressionism doesn't try to be realism, impressionism tries to create an impression of what that picture was trying to show. Was the picture a image of a person in a room moving in a direction? Let's create that impression. Let's not worry, worry so much about what makes that picture real, you know, the scale of it, say, the colors of it, the whatever. Let's worry more about how we can show what that picture's giving me the impression of. Happy, sad, uh, movement, um, a character, a genre, uh, whatever. We're creating an impression of it. Now, in the same way we're creating an impression of the picture we're working on here, but impressionism usually has a subject that it works from. Whether it be something that you see as a picture or as a subject in the room, impressionism usually needs that to uh, fix it, to anchor it. And personally, I love that because, guys, I'm a wee bit crazy. And when I'm crazy, you know, when you get left with a canvas to your own devices, you charge off in all sorts of directions. And what that can do is you won't know where you're going to end up. I just saw a TikTok of your live. I'm sending it to you if I can. I just saw a TikTok. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica. Yeah, go for gold. Um, so, um, that was a trailer thought. Um, so, for me, if I get left to my own devices, the painting just goes nuts. It goes crazy. It goes in all directions. It's unpredictable. It's good. It's abstract. And I love that. But if I have an anchor, and in this case, this is my anchor. This is the picture. Come, 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 come. I can get it out. Here we go. Perfect. This is our picture. This is our guideline, our snapping thing, the thing that we're working from. This is what's creating, um, what we're making the impression of. Um, so our anchor for impressionism. So we have a lady in a lovely red bra with like some blue or black tights on of sorts on a wakeboard with a GoPro that's taking the photo, these lovely white lines of uh, spray going everywhere and a horse and a rope pulling her. It's in the sea and we have a horizon line. Fantastic. This is what we want. Now, put this in here, put this back where it belongs. I think I'm putting it back where it belongs. Twist it around on me. There we go. Fantastic. There she is. There's Lani. Sorted. You stay right there. Perfect. Okay. So, um, and then we look back here. You should start to see the flick up of water there. The movement across here cascading of just uh, the movement going on with the, yeah, this water and this foam and a little bit coming down here as a wakeboard pulls through it and a little bit more gestural strokes down here in this darkness. Still not fully addressed. A GoPro stick not sticking out at you but slightly abstract. Enough to be there. Enough to even know that she's holding something that's taking the photo. Her body, it changes drastically with perspective. Her hands about as big as her jaw and her other arm takes up more room than her leg and is almost the same size as the board because the perspective is way off in terms of, in the picture, it's, it's uh, fish-eyed. And then we have a horse leading off that way. We have this horizon line. It's just a really fun image. It's heading in all directions. I, I'm in love with it, guys. I think it's a really special shot. I think we can really capture something meaningful here. But my main focus is with this work, what we're trying to capture more than anything else, is we're trying to capture life and vibrancy. We want that, and we're gonna do that through big gestural brush strokes and wild, free, abundant color. And that's gonna be our method. Now, if I 